We tried out a Chelsea FC hospitality package at Stamford Bridge and here's how we got on. The package that we went for did include a hotel stay and this was the Kensington Hilton, which is just down the road from the stadium. Checked in, then left our bags in the room, then made our way off to Stamford Bridge. And we arrived a few hours before kickoff, which was probably a little bit too early, so we did have a quick look around the club megastore. Then after about half an hour, we made our way to Under the Bridge, which is located underneath the East Stand. A quick chat with security on entry, then as we made our way in, we did receive a raffle ticket, as well as a complimentary programme. Then it was down a few steps and into the lounge, not before we received a complimentary glass of champagne. On non-match days, Under the Bridge is a bar, which means on match days it is converted into a hospitality lounge. We found ourselves an unreserved table and tucked into some snacks before heading up to one of the many food stations. And for the first round of food, we went for a chicken curry, which was very good. Grabbed a full plate of food, then headed back to the table to enjoy. And at the same time, staff do serve hot plates to your table. And make sure you are hungry when you visit because there is a lot of food to try. Later on in the evening, staff do bring round some sweet treats and desserts, which included everything from chocolate brownies through to donuts. And throughout your time in the lounge, there is an open bar, which does include beer, wine and soft drinks. And on this occasion, we went for a pint of Guinness. About an hour before kickoff, a host takes to the stage to talk through team news and also to interview some former players and club legends. Some really great insight from the former players and there is also a chance to grab an autograph or if you're lucky, have your photo taken with them. Then after the match, hopefully you're still hungry because more food is served which included pie and chips, as well as some pizza. You can also grab yourself a hot drink, which is a good shout when you're attending during the winter months. We grabbed ours about 15 minutes before the kickoff, then made our way back up the steps, and as you exit, you do receive a free gift. We didn't open the gift until we got back to the hotel, and here's what was inside. And back to 15 minutes before the kickoff, and there is a short walk to the West Stand. Ticket scanned as you make your way in, then there is lift access upstairs and to West View. A large open bar area which is accessible before the match at half time and at full time. And don't forget to use your free drinks token. You can use the token at any time, and we decided to exchange ours at half time for a pint of beer. There is then a short walk out of the bar and off to a premium seating area and make sure you finish your alcoholic drinks before you try and make your way into the stand as you won't be able to take them with you. We then found our padded seat ready for the start of the Champions League match. Tickets were £199 or £259 with a hotel bought through sportsbreaks.com and this was for the 21-22 season so it's worth checking their website for updated prices. Where should we go for the next padded seat?